Okay, uh, okay, guys. Start recording has been started, and uh, in the last session, we have completed our basic configuration in like you know interface, how to assign IP into interface, and a basic you know con uh, basic configuration on the CLI mode, right? So for to for that, uh, we need to do wipe all nodes to remove all this existing configuration, and I'm doing the start all nodes now. And uh, we'll do that is basic configuration, okay? Like uh, I'm just doing it over the notepad, okay? So what is that our our R1? Enable config terminal interface. Sir, screen not sharing. Okay, okay. So uh, here uh, we need to do config config terminal interface. Um, FA zero by zero IP address IP address one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five dot zero and no shutdown. Okay, later <coughs> later we'll do IP route zero dot zero dot zero dot zero and zero dot zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero dot zero. Okay, and one ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot two. Right. You know, guys, how to configure the default routing? The meaning of this command was if I mouse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, again, we have R2. R2, right? So first, go one by one, and we'll do the copy and we'll remove that required things. Okay. Okay. So we have R1. Then we are having R2. What a fun. R2 we have, okay. Then uh, here R2. Then R3. What happened with him? He will join again. He was using his mobile. Uh, I allowed in both. Okay. Then. Then we please mute yourself. R two, right? Then uh, R three. Here R three. R three. Then we have a R four. R4, okay. Later we'll configure the our 48. First, complete the Cisco device configuration. Then, then we'll do one by one, okay. So, what is that our IP? First, copy this and entire screen, not only R1, okay. So, here we just need to do paste. And everything has been done right in the same way we'll do here in r2 1 into 168 what is that 1 into 168 r2.1 and 2.2 .2, right so 2.1 and 2.2 .2 here so r2 configuration done Okay, and then later we have R3. What is the R3 IP? R3 3.1 and 3.2 and 4.1, 4.2. Okay, so okay. 3.1 here we'll do 3.1. Here we'll do 3.2. Okay, so R2 yeah, the configuration is done for this one also, and here 4.1 and 4.2. 4.1 and 4.2. Okay. Yes. The one pasted. The configuration is done in all the firewalls. Okay. Ignore this IPs. Okay. These IPs will do in a static routing when when we'll do the static routing in that uh, RIP. Okay. That time we can use this IPs. 
and okay. I will go with the very basics. So now this is our 40 gate and just hit the enter. By default, there is no password. As you know, double click admin. Admin, I given password. So system interface. So uh, we have one IP 75.143. So just use 192 and 143, right? 143. Now we'll get the access. How we are getting access? Because the HTTP and HTTPS services are enabled into this interface, right? In the port one. Okay, so yes. we, we, we got that. Okay. So now, now we'll do. Uh, yesterday we know how to configure uh, in IP into interface, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so I'm doing on that GY only. <clears throat> 192.168.1.2/slash 24. Okay, this is our inside. We can consider as an inside allowed ping and uh, port number three. Port number three is our DMZ one. Okay, and I'm allowing IP as a 192.168.2.2/slash 24. And here also ping allowed. Then later we have a some another interface port number four that is our internet. Internet and the IP is 192.168.3.2 slash 24. Here also allowed the ping services. OK, uh, later we have one more IP interface that is a port number five and we'll do as a DMZ two. OK, so here will IP 192.168.4.2, right? The slash 24 yes. ping enable. OK. So in this 4.2, everything is configured, right? So now, now tell me one thing. Is it possible that uh, R1 can ping to this IP 192.168.2.2? Uh, yes. No. OK, let me try. Uh, Why because no? of the policy. Because of the policy. Yes. Because of the policy. Policy for what? There is no policy you mean to say, right? Yeah, yes. It's by default denied. By default deny. Yes. OK, let me see. Uh, diagnose debug enable and diagnose. Debug flow. Diagnose debug flow filter. Filter and what is that? Prompt source address source address. 192.168.1.1. 1.1 or 1.2? 1.1, right? And uh, diagnose debug flow, diagnose debug flow, filter, and trace start, right? Diagnose debug flow, trace start means start capturing any request is coming. Okay, this the meaning of this command. Okay, so by using this three command, by using this three command, you are or oh, what uh, what we are asking to what we are telling to this our firewall by this three diagnose debug enable whenever any packet is coming just give us log okay then diagnose debug for which log for which address so means 192.168.1 if any request is hitting for by 192.168.1.1 just show us the um, logs okay so now try to hit just a minute now try to hit Just a minute. Now try to hit from here. Ping. Ping 192. Dot ping 192.168.2.2, right? 2.2. We are unable to reach, right? We are getting some out. Once I hit it here, the 2.2, the firewall is started generating logs, right? So what is the meaning of this logs? What is trying to say? The 192.168.1.1 is trying to hit 12.2 with the ID, whatever the ID it is showing. Okay, the session is a new session. Okay, and 2.2 via root because it is running on the root. What is telling? Check, check filed on policy zero. Packet is getting drop. Okay, means there is a by default policy which is a policy is telling the by default policy is an implicit deny. Whenever any packet source can be any destination can be any schedule can be always services all action. What is the action? It is a deny. OK. So that's the reason we our we cannot, you know, 
reach one place to we can't we can't you know our reachability will not be established without keeping any policy okay so i'm just creating one policy from r1 to from r1 to r2 okay so r1 to r2 the policy name i'm giving the port number 2 is the r the port number 2 and it will go to the port number 3 right so it will go to the port number 3 and the source will be all destination will be all services or schedule always services all except okay and netting is not required now inspection mode there is a flow based and proxy based yesterday i informed you right there is two modes like inspection modes it's flow based and a proxy based okay so now okay just select and save the policy now now it will able to hit right it can reach now look The reachability is fine, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So this is the way how you're going to configure the policy. Now tell me, Hojipa and Saad, um, is it possible that uh, this R2 can reach to this R1? No, I do so, not reach because you why? need to make a policy also for that. Okay, so so again, I need to create one policy, right? From yes. R, 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 you know, R2 to R3, right? So let's yes. start. Okay, just a minute. First, we'll create R1 to R2, R3, and R4. Okay, I'm again creating one policy like R1 to R2. Packet will be not R2, R3, and the packet will be uh, from it will come from R2, it will go to the port number three not port number three that is the internet and uh, it will all destination will be all schedule always services all except okay and okay okay again i'm creating for r4 r1 to r4 right so again packet will start from r2 interface 2 again the packet will go to the dmz2 the this one last one Okay, then again we need to create all, then all, then always, and the services will be all except. Okay, again, okay, now policy is created. So this firewall can, re this router can reach to R2, R3, and R4 as well, right? So let's start hitting one by one. Okay, let's start hitting like 3.2 and uh, 3.2. Okay, 3.2 is reachability is there, right? means we are able to reach this this router one is able to reach here as well here as well and here as well right yes yes so again 4.2 so this r1 can reach any everywhere right but now we are getting any kind of logs in the 40 gate no no logs generating right if you hit admin admin and no no logs has been generated right correct so right. because the policy is going now policy is working and uh, it is the, the, the firewall is accepting that request and it is sending to the destination okay so it is it, like this we can create but r2 cannot reach to r1 r2 cannot reach to our internet or the dmz2 even our same 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 process for our internet internet cannot reach to this one and this one and this one same DMZ2 side, this side also, this router cannot reach to this one, internet, DMZ1 and the inside, right? For that, again, I need to create one, one separate, 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 you know, um, policies from R2 to R1, then R2 to R3, then R2 to R4. Then again for R3, R3 to R1, R3 to R2, and R3 to R4. Then again for R4 to R1, R4 to R2, R4 for R3. So there is many, many policy I need to create for that, right? means three policies yes. all over i required of 12 policy right so yeah. that they can reach to each other correct three into four is 12. yeah so instead of keeping a 12 policy look there is now i'm not getting option i can i'm get, I'm, I'm getting an option to create, you know select source or destination in a single interface only it is not allowing me to use the, all the interface right correct yes I'm getting yes. single option right so for that what we have we have one option go to the setting setting to the future visibility 
under the feature visibility you'll get one option multi interface policy okay just enable this and select apply it okay after that go to the policy again and create one policy okay not create just so uh, now we can get an in any any policy here we are getting option plus sign right so here we can create any any we can call any interface right correct yes so so instead of keeping this kind of policy 12 policy or 4 policy what we can do we can just do like this we just need to delete or just delete this and create one policy okay before that okay no problem now i'm keeping the name all to all okay and the incoming interface will be a port number one not port number one port number two and the port number three port number four and port number five same here as well two three four and five okay source source will be all destination will be all okay, okay. always and services is all netting is not required because inside to inside the, no one can no one can uh, uh, wanted to do that outside the tablet right so all to all and all session and okay okay so again, now, why not why nothing not required this is netting right when yes. when these all are in your, your interface there is no internet okay now okay okay, okay. so when inside to inside local for the local communication establishment yes netting yes. is not required right yes yeah so now now all the all the devices can reach to each other okay let's see from r4 to enable ping ping 192.168.1.1 okay 1.2.1 uh, 2.1 right then 3.1 then 4.1 now the reachability yes. is fine right yes. by using a single policy we can we can create uh, you know we can establish the communication now the requirement is the r1 can reach to this this one okay this interface this router okay but this router cannot reach to this r1 okay yes so for that we again need to go to the policy in the destination side we just need to remove this port number five so port number five can receive incoming okay Port number five is available in incoming, but in outgoing, it is not allowed yes. the port number five. Okay. So now, now let me check. Okay. Here, this, this R1 can reach to the, uh, you know, 4.2, right? one ninety two one sixty eight 168.4.2, not 4.2, just a minute. Control shift six. Okay. 4.1. What happened? I did any mistake. Okay, just a minute. Let's go to the interface. First of all, do this one. The whenever you are started, you know, this management port, this port number one, you, you just use as a manual, okay, and select okay. Got it, my point? Yes. Okay, so what happening? This this R1 cannot R1 is not able to reach, right? Now mm. it's still not able to reach, but can we try from R4 to ping the R1, ping 192.168.1.1? So the policy is from yes. here, it is able to reach, right? For that, yes. what we need to do, we need to go to the policy and we need to select R5 as a destination, interface as a destination, okay? And uh, this one we need to remove, right? From source, it's incoming interface. So now try. And hit again from here R1 to this one 4.1. Reachability is fine, right? Yes. Repeat count 1000. So R1 is able to reach to R this one, right? Our our R4 router, like 4.1, 4.2, everything, right? But 4 4 will not ping now. Yeah, that's reach. Okay. Now our, this router cannot reach to this one. Okay. So this is the way how you can you know allow or block particular interface. Okay. Incoming incoming you can allow outgoing you can block like that you can do by your as per your requirement okay before require understand the requirement first think logically okay and work uh, and create policy accordingly got it
so now now my requirement is now all the policy can you know the same thing we need to in, configure on cli mode okay i'm deleting the policy existing policy okay the policy has de de deleted now okay now we need to do the same policy by using a cli okay so preparing the notes yes hmm? sir yes well okay okay prepare huh? config but also firewall. we need your notes right yeah i will i will config okay. firewall policy okay, okay. enter edit one first policy okay policy number one and new entry entry one we added right then then set name what is the name set name i'm just keeping all to all okay i'm just keeping all only okay now enter after this uh source interface set source interface port number two port number three and port number four and port number five okay set destination interface okay port number two port number three and the port number four and the port number five okay fine set source address source address uh all you can select as all right but it will select it will accept in the okay. source address Source address name, source ad address name, um, source address, well card all, source address all, okay, and the set destination address, okay, DST, DST A destination address here also all, okay, source address destination address you selected now, now what was there? Xn right set Xn accept or deny so we are keeping as accept right then what is the next services set services all set services 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 all all option so here it is showing in a capital right so we need to choose in a, in a capital letter only all okay set services all and the set what is the next set schedule always okay and the set log log traffic for all okay now in so now the policy is created okay so firewall policy you can see what we we use given the name set uh, set name all Source interface port number two, three, four, five. Destination interface two, three, four, five. Set action accepted, and the set address all. Set destination address all. Set schedule always. Set services all. Set log traffic also we can. We wanted to save and the next and the end. Okay, this is the this is the way how you can. If you don't know how to configure, you can just you know config system uh, config firewall policy and the so enter the so then you'll get all this option. Okay, so like that we need to create in a CLI. Now it is still not coming, so better refresh once, and later you can get this this policy into your firewall. Okay, got it? All is come now. Now try to hit now. We reachability is fine from R1 to R4 to R1, and the same yes. here. Okay, so this is the way how you are going to configure your uh, policy by using the CLI mode. Okay. Got it? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes, clear, sir. Okay, now, now if it is done, then we can do a static routing also. We created, we given first first step, we given IP into the interface, then uh, we created a policy. Okay, but single policy we created and multiple like by using you know single policy we called all the interfaces and created one policy for all, right? Okay, then later we will do. We need to again go to the network and do the static route. Static route if you want to do the static routing. Okay, so static routing if suppose consider this is your internet. So what we will order to this firewall whenever the any packet is coming, 
any with the any IP, any subnet, it should go to 192.168.3.1. Okay, so what I need to do here? 192.168.3.2. Okay. Okay. Sir, in the real time also, we'll select any any or we'll. Uh, uh? Sorry. In the real time, time also, it is any, not any. dependent. Any any uh, in in generally because whenever that interface, if you wanted to filter which traffic can go out, you can filter also. Okay. But when you are having, you are allowing all the users. Generally, in ninety nine, in ninety nine percent cases, you'll get this this option only. Okay. 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 Yeah, welcome him. He is too late today. Mm -hmm. Hi, guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the way how you are doing. Like three dot one, we selected because this is our gateway. Any IP with any any mask will go to gateway by using this port number four. Okay, so this is the way. Then only you, your user can your user can hit the if the user wanted to let suppose there is a 172.30.1. Okay, so I'm I'm just adding into here. Enable. Config terminal interface loopback one. I'm creating one in loopback interface IP address. What is the IP? We can keep any IP IP address like 10.0.0.1. Let's suppose this this IP is google.com. Okay. 255 like 255.255.255.0 and no set no set is not required now in okay so now if you find it so ip route you'll get it here right the 10 series and 192.168.3. series is available right so now if you hit from r1 to which ip 192.168.1.10 right we given this ip only uh 10.0.0.1 right so 10.0.0. 10.0.0.1. Yeah. So reachability is fine, right? Because this route, because this router don't know. In this router, if you check, okay, leave it this board. Okay, in R1, okay. So IP route is 10.0 available here. Oh, in no. this 10. Dot, let's suppose or uh, this is our internet IP, okay? 10.0.0.1, okay? Ignore this. Ignore this, okay? This is our internet, and the Google Google IP is 10.0.0.1. We can considering, okay? So we are just checking reachability. So as we know in networking, we learn that if the if any if the address is available into the routing table, then the router can able to establish the communication. Without availability, the address of this, in the in this routing table, we cannot reach to anywhere, right? If you check here also in the R2, there is no 10.0 10 10 series IP, right? Enable so IP route. If you check, is there any 10.0? No, right? Not is there, right? But if, if you check in the in the firewall, in the firewall, there is one command to check the routing table, gate router info routing table all, okay? Routing table all, okay? So now you can find 192.168.1 one also, 2.2 .2 and 3 and 4 also, right? Yes. Is 10.0 available here? No. No, but still we are able to reach, right? Yes. So this is the beauty of static routing. How you're going to do the static routing, but this is not just static routing. We can we will uh, we will go in depth about the static routing by tomorrow. Okay. 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 Got it. How the packet is how the packet is flowing from R1, R2, R3 to the internet, and before that we created you know normal normal communication. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So for can we wind up for today here? Because first digest these things only, then we can go uh, from tomorrow onwards. We can do uh, you know static routing and RIP. Okay. Sir, I have one question. Two. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, okay, related to the interfaces. Okay. We create we enable the feature to 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 allow multi interface, right? Yes. Instead of that, can we use can we create like one group and add all the interfaces in one group? Okay, which group you wanted to create? That in interfaces. Which, okay, network interface. interface. Now tell me. Interfaces, yes. Here, if you if the yeah there is a, options to create like group interfaces or not? No, here not not like not now. When you create a zone na so zone based policy when we configure that time only we create one group. And under okay. this group, we can call the interface. 
all of them right right but okay. in the policy in the policy earlier it was not allowed us to you know uh, call multiple interface in the, under the source under the destination right yes. after enabling the this is uh, you know after enabling the multi multi interface policy multi -interface, then yes. only it was it was allow us to put it right yes so this is the way how you're going to understand later slowly will 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 we'll enable all these options okay okay, okay. yes and one by one we'll do the practicals don't so hurry worry for at least this just complete this yesterday video and today's video mm -hmm. okay then only you guys can understand that what how the router is actually receiving the packet and sending to the internet how the router is stopping the packet and how it is allowing any tra uh, traffic like uh, web traffic or application traffic dns traffic many traffic will come right yes yeah so i'm just to uh, you know hi guy you you join very late today right Yes, uh, I came late, but because yesterday I no problem, no problem. Early. You just watch, just just I'll watch this video. video. Yeah, just follow the video, mm. okay, and uh, pre prepare the notes. And guys, better to create one notepad for all the commands, okay? Yes. Okay, guys. Yeah, okay. Then, then I'll see you tomorrow.